Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Alam and today I shall be taking you through how to use the calculator to solve objective mathematics question in the examination hall. This calculator hack will help you to score A1 in your mathematics examination without having to waste much time in the objective section because the calculator is going to do most of the work for you and so like subscribe and share so that you will not miss out from these videos all right without much ado let's take our first example which we shall use the calculator to solve example one evaluate 0 0.064 exponent negative 1 on 3 and these are the objective possible answers given to us and so let's pick the calculator and then we shall key in the values and see the possible answers so I type it inside the calculator bracket open 0.06 4 then you close the bracket exponent negative 1 on 3 press the equal sign so the answer is what 5 over 2 obviously our result is a next example simplify correct to three significant figures the following expression and this is another easy thing that you don't need to waste time in working just pick the calculator and you are good to go and so i pressed bracket open twenty seven six point six three and close the bracket square minus bracket open 12.37 and close the bracket exponent 2 hit the equal sign all right so our answer is in fraction so we can hit this button to get it in the decimal form now the question is asking us to simplify it and correcting it to three significant figures and so and to trick the significant figures we have six one zero as our answer because the four is not up to five which we say that we can convert to get six one one so our correct answer here is c next example example three says evaluate the SARS. So we get a calculator and you key it inside. So I type in 2 root 28. Make sure you come out of the root before you press the operational sign. Minus 3 root 50. Minus root 72. Hit the equal sign. Our answer is 4 root 7 minus 21 root 2. And the result is A. You see the calculator has even arranged the thing as it is in the objective question. And so we don't have to waste time. So our correct answer here is A. Next example. Evaluate the following fraction. And leaving your answer in the standard form. So these are the possible answers given to us. Let's get our calculator and go. So it's a fraction, so I get my fractional sign that type in the value 0 0.42 divided by 2.5. Hit it down arrow key to come down. Type in 0 0.5 multiplying by 2. 
0.05 then I hit the equal sign it is given in fraction but remember the in the possible answers we don't have fraction inside it so I have to convert it into the scientific form and so when I press XD it is in the fraction uh, um, decimal point but the thing is in the scientific form so I press shift then English so it is being expressed in the scientific form now it's saying that we should leave the result in the standard form and in all the answers we get one point something one point something now I move my decimal point once in front of the one so when I move to the right I get negative exponent and when I move to the left I get positive exponent so look at where the decimal point is it front of the one so when I move it once so I get 1.6 so I've moved once to the right therefore I have negative one exponent it was negative exponent one so means that our result would be C C is the answer next example example five so we are not coming to deal with logarithms and this is a very simple and easy question to deal with using what the logarithms so let me get the calculator then we key inside our values and then we are good to go so log 6 to the base 10 log 6 to the base 10 minus 3 log 3 to the base 10 log 3 to the base 10 plus 2 on 3 multiply by log 27 to the base 10 then hit the equal sign so our answer is 0 0.0102999 in that order. And in the possible answer, it is not there. So here, we are going to test and see which answer will give us this. So I save this in A. So you press Shift, Store, and A to save your answer. Now I come in and test the possible answers given to me. So A. I have 3 log 2 is 0 0.9 which is not our answer then I type log 2 note if you don't have a base in your log it means it is in base 10 that is why I didn't put the 10 here again so any log without any base is in base then take note of that so this is log 2 which is more of the answer we had all right so i believe that is the answer but let's test the rest and see if you get the same result so log of 3 it is not then we get 2 log 3 also it is not so it's the correct answer here is B log 2 to the base 10. Next example. Solve the logarithm below. And the result is also given to us. So we're getting the calculator. Type in it's a fraction. So I have my fractional sign over there. And I get log 9 to the base 3 log 9 to the base 3 minus log of 8 sorry log of 8 to the base 2 log of 8 to the base 2 then log of 9 to the base 3 log of 9 to the base 3 all right hit the equal sign um so our answer here is 
negative one on two. I believe you'll be beginning to love the calculator work. And so hit the subscription button, like and share for more of side videos to come. Okay. So our correct answer here is D. You don't have to waste time in the examination hall. Let's pick the next example. Example eight. So this is linear equation. So we solve for it. Key in the values. X. So calculator understands more of X than that of Y. So I will use X in place of Y. So alpha X plus 1 all over 2 minus 2y so which is 2x 2x minus 1 on 3 equal to so we don't use this equal sign because it will try to compute it for you so use this one over here so you press alpha then calc the equal sign will come and hit your four. Then you solve for it. So our answer here is negative 19. So let's see what is the possible answers. So obviously the answer is D. So you can see that calculator is very easy to use to score A1. And so when you want to know more of this videos follow my channel and I'll be releasing more of such videos. I've released some on trigonometry. I've released some on limits, how to use a calculator to solve limits, how to use a calculator to solve gamma, which is at the university level, how to use a um, calculator to solve for many other uh, functions. So we'll follow the channel for more inspiring videos to come. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye.